We all knew Kylian Mbappe was good. I mean, I doubt we all watch the French League week in and week out. However, there are enough highlights on social media for us to see and go, ha, oh, hot damn. At this year's World Cup, though, forget about it. From incredible back heels to storing goals to basically stealing the whole competition and waving it around like his own flag, Mbappe has been incredible, even more so when you remember he's only 19 years old. I mean, what are we all doing at 19 years old? Probably sat in a university dorm somewhere, freaking out, going, what am I meant to do with my life? He's in Russia tearing up. He is one of the best players in the world. And you know what that means? He's probably got to go to Real Madrid. Why? Here's why. Now I'm sure there's many clubs that want Mbappe and the PSG where he currently plays his football don't want to lose him. I mean, they want to win the Champions League and that's why they've gone out and spent all this money. And when Mbappe and Neymar are in your team, you know what? You've got a pretty good damn chance of winning the Champions League. It's kind of amazing they didn't go further last season when you look at it like that, but that probably means in time they're going to get to the promised land. Over in Spain, however, Real Madrid have just sold their talisman and their hero, Cristiano Ronaldo, to Juventus. And that has left a gaping hole there and it needs to be filled. And I know that whole squad has loads of good players. You don't get rid of Ronaldo and not bring somebody else in to try and cover that gap. And you can't go out and buy, I don't know, Jack Wilshire. I mean, Jack Wilshire is great, but that's not what they're looking for. You're not looking for players, you're looking for superstars. And that is where Mbappe comes into proceedings. And true, Neymar could also fit into that void very easily. And there's rumours out there that say Madrid want him too. I don't know, when it comes to Mbappe, I just think he's more dynamic, he's more interesting, he's more exciting. The biggest factor is, is that he's so young. And while we've touched upon that, if he is going to move to Spain and join Real Madrid at such a young age, he's going to stay there for a long time. I mean, what player joins Real and then leaves the next season? It does happen, but by and large, you're there for a while, and that gives him time, I don't know, to like carve out a niche and become one of the team's legends. He could become a star for years to come, and maybe he could even break Cristiano Ronaldo's own scoring record. Now, that would annoy Ronaldo, but that's what it's all about. Imagine Mbappe could say that. I am the number one scorer in Real Madrid history. If you want to be remembered, that's the kind of stuff you do. Impossible feats are always topped in football, and that's why we love it so much, because you never say never, and you just enjoy that damn ride with a circular thing known as a ball. There's also this idea that Madrid see themselves as the biggest club in the world, and therefore they go out and buy all the big players. And that has happened time and time again. We just talked about Ronaldo. And let's go to the Premier League. Where did Beckham go? Real Madrid. Where did Goen go? Real Madrid. Where did Bale go? Real Madrid. Their appeal is off the chart. So yeah, if they actually do care about this perception, they've got to go out and they've got to buy another one of these guys who right now is Kylian Mbappe, especially once again, given what he's just done at the World Cup. The World Cup, the biggest tournament in all of football. He is on fire, so much so that if they did go out and nab him, nobody would remember Ronaldo. I don't mean that horribly to Ronaldo, but Real Madrid fans would be so excited by that transfer, they'd start looking forward and they'd forget about the past. And having that fast, like this. They've got the money as well, especially because they just pocketed 100 million from the sale of Ronaldo. And let's face it, if Neymar can move from Barcelona to PSG for the amount of crazy sums he did, anything can go down in football. We've changed the game. We've taken money and we've thrown it out the window. It may as well be Monopoly money at this point. You just offer a crazy amount and clubs go, yeah, cool, you can have our player, we don't give two shits. And it all depends on what the player wants to do and being 19 and killing it at PSG, especially alongside the likes of Neymar, ain't the worst thing in the world. But I tell you this, I wouldn't be surprised and maybe... We should just keep an eye on the transfer window now until it closes. Wait and see what Real Madrid do. Now don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you think about all of this. Like, share and subscribe. Make sure you head over to whatculture.com so you can read more football articles and follow What Culture on Twitter at WhatCultureFC. My name is Simon from What Culture. Thank you for watching and also I hope you enjoyed watching the World Cup. As I'm recording this, we're but days away from the final. You may even see this once it's all done. And what a fantastic tournament it was. I thought England, you know, they showed, they showed heart and they showed courage. It sucked they went out, but they got further than they should have done. And I just enjoyed the whole thing. I see too much negativity when it comes to football. So I'm here to throw some positivity back into your face.